Today I'm going to show you how to make your own sweet potato pie from scratch. If you have struggled with this, struggle no more because I'm going to make it so easy for you, okay? So for starters, when you go to the store, make sure that you are picking out sweet potatoes that are deep red or deep orange in color. Try to go for the smaller ones because those tend to be the ones that are more sweeter. So after you clean your potatoes, make sure that you prick them a few times with a knife or with a fork. I did this about nine times for each one. That will help the uh, steam to release and it also ensures that the potatoes bake evenly and baking them will cause them to caramelize which will also make them sweeter. So you want to let those cool down before you peel them and we're going to blend these in our um, with our hand mixer and this will just get them really really smooth okay. We also want to remove any strings from our potatoes. And uh, if you have a lot of strings in your potatoes, you will see them on your blender attachment. So make sure you take those off and toss it in the trash. <laughs> so here are the ingredients that we're going to use for our pie. I will write out um, the recipe in the, I will write the recipe in my description box. So make sure you get the recipe, make this pie. So now all we need to do is just add the sugars, the spices, and uh, our, our half and half, our half, half and half <laughs> down into the bowl and just mix everything up. This is pretty simple from here. So, so far I've added the brown sugar, white sugar, the spices, now I'm adding in the pure vanilla extract. Next, I'm going to add in the lemon juice. And the lemon juice is a really, really good ingredient to add to your pie. It's going to add some tang. It's also going to balance out all of those flavors. So make sure you do not, do not, not add lemon juice. So we're going to add the butter. Make sure your butter is room temperature, but melted, not hot. Also, make sure your half and half is room temperature as well. Make sure everything is room temperature. No cold ingredients for this recipe. Room temperature. So now will be the time to taste your custard. Add more of this, more of that, you know. Do that before you add the eggs, okay? So if you want more sugar, add that in. If you want more nutmeg, add that in. Then you're going to add in the eggs, then you're gonna add the flour. Make sure you measure out your flour correctly. Try not to over measure. Flour is that one ingredient that tends to get a little over measured if you're packing it into your measuring cup or your measuring spoon. So try not to over measure your flour. So this is what your custard should look like. It should be smooth and fluffy and creamy. So make sure your pie shell is completely thawed before you add the pie filling, okay? And we're going to bake this inside of our oven. So if you wish to blind bake or par bake your pie shell, this is how you would do it. You would add some uh, beans on top of your parchment paper, bake this inside of your oven for about hmm, maybe five to seven minutes or so. Then you're going to add your pie filling and put it right back in the oven. Easy, right? So easy. The hard part was to not cut the pie immediately. Like that was the hardest part of this entire recipe. You have to let the pie set, period. Let it set. And this is what um, another pie looked like. This one set for about three hours. And to let it set means to just leave it alone. Don't touch it, you know? You know, let it get a little thicker. Don't bother it. Let it set. And so I made another pie. I've been making pies all week. Okay. We're obsessed with these pies. This was in my refrigerator for about a day. This is what it looks like. So I hope you all will try this recipe. Let me know what you think and I will catch you in my next one.